Hey guys, this is your learning assistant for Biology 1009. Um, today I have a short video for Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. Um, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, here I have a picture of Mr. Hardy and Mr. Weinberg on left and right. Um, so Hardy-Weinberg principle, aka equilibrium, um, states that allele and genotype frequencies in a population will remain constant from generation to generation under the absence of evolution. So if there's no evolution, then everything stays constant. However, in order for Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium to exist, there are certain conditions that must be met. First one will be large population, random mating, um, no immigration or emigration, no mutations, and no natural selections. So if none of these, if, if all of them, excuse me, if all of them are, are met, then Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium will happen, will exist. However, it does not really exist it does not exist in real life. Instead, there are formulas, Hardy-Weinberg formulas, P squared plus two PQ plus Q squared is one, P plus Q is one. These two formulas, uh, formulas allow us to, allow us to um, detect some allele frequencies that change from generation to generation. So using the PQ, P squared, Q squared, two PQ, we can calculate, we can, um, we can observe the changes of the frequencies of the alleles. So let's see, I have two problems. Um, all of them are provided by um, Kansas State University biology website. So if, not, if, um, if you want to practice more questions, if you want to um, check out the written answers and explanations, if, if my explanations were not clear as you want it to be, please check out the website. The, the link is on the bottom of the, of the slide right here. They, the website has more problems has a uh, clear um, explanations and answers to it. So I recommend you to um, go and check it out and practice more problems. And yeah, so let's start the first one. So here I have, it says, the problem says that I have 36% of homozygous recessive genotype, which is a small AA. And it says using that 36% calculate the following. Number one, ask you about the frequency of the small A allele, which is a recessive allele. And here I have, AA as 0.36 or 36%. So AA is what? Q squared frequency of the recessive uh, or the percentage of homozygous recessive individual. And since I have Q squared 0.36, all I have to do is square root of that, which is 0.6. So the number one, the answer should be 0.6 or 60%. And the second question asks you about the frequency of the big A allele, which is a dominant allele. And here it said P plus Q is one, and we know the Q already, recessive allele, 0.6. So all we gotta do is to figure out P, which is the dominant allele, or in this case, big A, one minus Q, one minus 0.6, should give you the 0.4. So the answer for number two should be 0.4. And the last question for problem one, the, uh, it, asks you about, it asks you about the frequencies of the genotypes, big A, big A, so dominant, hom homozygous dominant, and then big A, small a. So heterozygous individual. To find the percentage of these two, two things, we gotta use number two and number one. So here we know the frequency of a, a allele is point, what? Point four, forty percent. So we know that all we gotta do is um, we just gotta square of that. So P a big a big a is same as p square here, percentage of homozygous dominant. So point four times point four is. 0.16, so it gives you 16%. And big A, small a, which is 2PQ, percentage of heterozygous individual, 2 times 0.4 times 0.6, the one we got from uh, number 1, it should give you 40.48, so 48%. So that's it about that's about it for number 1. Pretty straightforward. And like I said, if you if you need a clear more clear explanations, if if my talk wasn't clear enough, please check out the website on the bottom of the slide. And last problem I have here. Um, so this um, this disease is a recessive condition that affects about one over two thousand five hundred babies in the Caucasian population of of the United States. And the first question asks you the frequency of the recessive allele in the population. So it's asking for the um, of the of p right here. We're looking for um, excuse me. We're looking for the q. 
So if we know that um so if we know that um one over two thousand five hundred is q squared because this is a recessive condition, so it has to be small a. Let's assume that um small a small a is a recessive condition for this um for this disease one over two thousand five hundred, which is point oh 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 four. That should be q squared recessive. Q squared, q squared percent of the homozygous recessive. So we have that here, and that is point oh 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 four. So if q squared is point oh 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 four square root of that, which sh which should give you the the frequency of the recessive allele of just small a, which is 0 0.02. So the answer to the first question should be 0 0.02 or 2%. So 2% is the frequency of the recessive allele. And then the frequency of dominant allele, pretty straightforward. Like the, like the uh, first problem, all we got to do is subtract from 1. So 1 is the 1 minus the recessive allele 0 0.002 is, should give you the p. So dominant allele in the population should give you 0 0.98, which is 98%. That's pretty big, but that's what it is. Um, so the frequency of the dominant allele is 0 0.98 or 98%. And then the last question asks you, what is the percentage of heterozygous individual, the carriers in the population? So before we solve this, um, you should know what it means by uh, what it meant by carriers. So if it says carriers, it's not infected, but it has a possibility of passing out that allele, uh, recessive allele. So it should, it should be asking for big A, small A, you know, just letting you guys know about it. So um, big A, small A, what is the percentage of that? We know that small A recessive allele is 0 0.02, and then the big A is 0.98. So all we got to do is using this 2PQ, percentage of heterozygous individual, we just um, plug those numbers into 2PQ. So 2 times 0 0.98 times 0 0.02 should give you 0 0.04 or 4%, um, which is like 1 in 25th, 25 are 1 in 25 babies are um, carriers. So 0 0.04 should be the percentage um, or 4% should be the percentage for the heterozygous individual. So, and that's all I have for the Hardy One Bake Equilibrium. Um, if you have any more questions, you can email me or you can check out this website on the bottom of the slide. It's a really good website. It has a bunch of, um, it has many, many different practice problems for Hardy Weinberg. So, thank you.